Hello, Mr. Fuentes. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about your wife's stroke. And I'm going to do this by telling you a little bit about the sensory system. What happens is that information in the brain travels through the brain stem, into the spinal column, and out through the nerves of the body. And likewise, when you touch something, you have receptors in those nerves that send information back through the nerves, into the spinal column, up the brain stem, and back into the brain. Now, there are two sides of the brain. There's the left side and the right side. And your wife suffered a stroke from the right side of the brain. And those things that are affected are going to be her left field of vision, her spatial orientation, her memory, and the left side of her body, which is normal for a stroke of this kind. And because she had the stroke on her right side, she's experiencing left side neglect because of her vision. And like you were telling me that she uh, neglects things on the left side of her plate and doesn't groom on the left side of her body. These things are normal and common, but they are not necessarily permanent. Now, I know that you care for her and you want to help her so that there are some things that I would like to tell you um, that you can do at home instead of having to wait for each therapy session. So the first thing is to tell other people about um, this issue that she's having so that they're not kind of confused about why she doesn't acknowledge them. If they're on her left side, they can move to her right side. While you're at home, you can be on her left side, her neglected side, and you can help her by guiding her hand over to get those things. So she'll, she's going to ask you, where is my pen or where is my hairbrush or something like that. And what you can do is take her hand, guide it over, and then that's going to help her increase her awareness on her left side. Like I said, a hairbrush or squeezing toothpaste, things like that. Also, when you're helping her, it's important to be patient and to be warm um, so that she doesn't get frustrated and want to give up on these things because she's a big part of these therapies as well. Um, another thing that we can look into is adaptive equipment. You said that her arm hangs over the left side of her chair, so maybe look into getting um, a secured armrest so that doesn't happen um, and pose a safety issue as well. Um, in the future, I would like to discuss some possible therapies that I've researched, like partial visual occlusion and mirror box therapy that I believe can help your wife out a lot. Um, I appreciate you coming in. Um, I appreciate your attention and your care, and I know that this is a very challenging job for you as a caretaker. Um, so if you have any questions or you notice any behavior, please write these things down, bring them back into me. I'm happy to discuss them with you, get them figured out. And also I encourage you to uh, take care of yourself, um, eat well, get enough sleep, and if you need to, um, maybe join support for caregivers groups, um, I can help you look into those things because it is important to take care of yourself, especially while you're taking care of someone else. So thank you very much.